Hi everybody, this is Dr. Joel. Is for those of you who missed our show yesterday, is all we said is one simple intuitive thing that a half century ago, when I was on the faculty of a big medical school in Texas, Baylor College of Medicine, is the known extent of the the microbiome was that there's just a lot of bacteria living in the colon. Today, it's one of the hottest topics in medicine, not only in medicine, but in the new field of psychobiome in psychiatry. What does that mean? Well, psycho is the brain and biome is the microbiome. And the heart of it is the two-way traffic between the brain and the microbiome. Well, how is that done? Well, two major ways is all of those good chemicals that are produced in the microbiome, which go to the brain, take either the blood system or the giant nerve which supplies the digestive organs called the vagus nerve. So you have two-way traffic. The big point is this, that you have, like we said yesterday, 50 trillion employees, 5,000 different species. And when you feed them right, they will crank out all these good chemicals for the body, like we said yesterday, is chemicals for the brain and chemicals for healing leaky gut. So today let's focus on the chemicals for the brain. One of the major discoveries in medicine that necessitates rewriting the textbooks is the discovery that the feel good chemical, the neurotransmitter called serotonin, which I'm sure a lot of you heard about, is actually 95% is produced by the microbiome. It used to be thought that most of it was produced in the brain. Everyone wants to feel good. And here is this freebie that your own microbiome will produce serotonin when you feed it the right food. The simple version, just getting started, like we said yesterday, is the soluble fiber. The soluble fiber is mainly in softer vegetables, especially the dark grains, spinach, kale, chard, but all fruit. And it has a special name in fruit called pectin. So is the microbiome will produce 95% of the body's feel-good chemical, serotonin. And this is a major player in helping out the two major psychiatric uh, afflictions of the world, anxiety and depression. And the second big neurotransmitter that's produced by the microbiome is an amino acid called GABA, gamma amino butyric acid. And GABA is like a natural uh, uh, sleep aid and um, your microbiome will produce the GABA, and that's basically the only neurotransmitter which puts a slowdown, a break on the brain. So to facilitate the traffic between the brain and the microbiome is that, that really good soluble fiber. So this new field of psycho biome. The epicenter is University of Dublin. A brilliant, brilliant team of psychiatrists are pioneering in this field. So is once again is the take home here is that by feeding your microbiome the soluble fiber and that's the food which you cannot digest is that's their food. So is when you feed them correctly, they will crank out chemicals for your whole body 
but also chemicals to feed your miracle brain. Thank you so much and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.